Hi, I'm here with Taylor from, you've probably seen my stories, Taylor, Katarina, NYC. I'm trying on this beautiful, um, what would you call this, a mock-up? Oh, yeah, it's a, so this is kind of a mock-up of a piece that we're creating for her event next week. Okay, so here's the whole outfit. We've got, what did you say, it was like a duster? Yeah, so it's kind of like a duster. So what we have here is kind of like um, an elongated peplum with a ruffle here. And so it's this, um, at the front here, it's called a surplice. So it's kind of like a reverse surplice, which is kind of like a cross, the fabric crosses in the front. Um, generally it will cross up like this, but ours is reversed, so it's going kind of towards the hip. Mm -hmm. um, and then you have the ruffling here. And so what this does is it um, gives you a nice, like you still get all of the drama um, and kind of the excitement of like the ruffles and something exciting with the lace, but you still get to be comfortable and yeah. wear your pants mm -hmm. and be able to actually like move as you need to as a performer. Right, yeah, and then when you sit down, like the problem that I have when I sit down, what I was saying is like, with a dress, you sit down, you have to adjust every time, and then you, you play a piece, you sit up, you take a bath, you have to sit down and adjust again. So this is like, it's like having a dress look-wise, yeah. but without all of like the nonsense that it yeah. creates in the play. Well, plane. and a lot of times like performers will play in like churches and stuff, so we try to make sure that we right. actually put sleeves on everything because it can get so cold in the winter. Yeah. Um, and so I know that that's a huge thing is you still want to look good, but you can't wear a jacket. So it's mm -hmm. like, what do you, what do you do? Yeah. Um, so we're putting sleeves on this. We're actually going to elongate them. So the final piece will be a little bit longer, probably to about there. Yeah. I was saying, because, um, I like the fabric from touching the guitar. So my, um, arm doesn't get like kind of stuck on the guitar. Yeah. So you're going to make them longer, which yep. is awesome. Yep. Exactly. So that's going to be fun. And it's such, it's a really, I wish I had brought the, uh, swatch here today, but it's a mm -hmm. really beautiful, like plum, like deep. Yeah, um, plum, I saw the fun. pictures. It looks really good, so I'm excited yeah. to get the final product. So this is just the mock-up. Mock -up. So this it? is okay. this is a sample. So for this is just fabric that I had laying around. Um, it's supposed to mimic the final fabric because I need to figure out like what the stretch is and like how much movement you need and if okay. you can move in this. And mm -hmm. so that's why we always do a first sample is to really make sure that a the fit works and b the fabric works. Okay. Um, and so that's what we try to do for. Our custom pieces um, you know just because it is it's important and it's an investment that you make mm -hmm. um, and so you know for you today we wanted to make sure to adjust the armhole here um, so we have some pins here and here and so what that's going to do is it'll create a little bit more um, movement for your arms but it's also going to make it like just lie just that much better and so it really is going to fit and I think we have decided that we're gonna bring it down a little bit mm -hmm. as well um, and that's really going to to kind of frame the hips so you can still be comfortable, but it still gives, you can still see your waist here. Um, yeah. And so it makes you, it's still like an elegant and sophisticated look um, and like fits you really well. So that's, you know, what's the first bidding is about. Um, and so that's why I was really excited to come here today in order to like get those, you know, measurements. Yeah, yeah. so I'm all stuck up with pins. We yeah, we need to cut here because we're gonna need a little bit more room there. Um, just because as, you know, a performer, like you are a lot more active than someone who is just sitting, right. standing, dancing. Yeah, um, like if you're like a guest somewhere, if you're going out and you're dressed exactly. up, it's different. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, you know, as a performer, you are, like I said, you're moving. So we have to make sure to give you enough space to actually move. So that's why we had to cut here to give her a little bit more space there. We'll bring it down about five inches. But now as a designer, I can say, okay, I know that I need a little bit more space here. So we'll do a shaped sleeve instead of just a, a straight sleeve. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so these are the things I look for as I'm, you know, doing a fitting is like, how does it lie across the um, shoulders and the back and the front and like, where can we make it um, really hit you mm -hmm. for you, for the best that, you know, you, right. you can be. Yeah. Great. So I'm really excited to show you guys the final product when this yeah. is done next week. So thank you so much. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs>
Oh, wow, look at this color. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, man, look at this. Wow. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. This is so amazing. <laughs> oh, man, this is awesome. Can you believe she made this? Okay, so when do I try it on? All right, let's right get now. to it, yeah. Okay. I can just try it on now, actually. Cool. I'm so excited. But yeah, it reminds me of like this purple like sky, like this, you know. Yeah. It's like it's like stars kind of with the mm -hmm. glitter. Yeah. yeah, you're right. It's not rough. It's not rough, and that, that's why my like that was super important to me to mm -hmm. make sure because I didn't want to like you know harm your instrument. But it had like the perfect like glitter to it. Yeah. And sparkle, but like should be really good. And I made sure on the arms that it wasn't any glitter there, so that, like that in case it, you yeah. do, it like tapers um, off. Did you mm -hmm. take glitter out? No. So the fabric was like that. So it was like um, the just plain fabric on the center, and then went out into the silver on the sides. Oh, sweet. Okay. And so it was just so magnificent that I, I couldn't. I was like, I have to. You have to get this one. It goes it silver into nothing, and then into silver again. Oh wow! Oh, wow. At the train. So like as you walk up, it really is gonna say, "I'm here." To you. <laughs> right? Yeah. Yes. Oh wow. man, it's so perfect. How cool! Does this hit you okay with here? Yeah, I think okay. so. This is the perfect because this is. Yeah, because yeah. I didn't want it too long because it's not like it's not a know. long sleeve. Yeah, yeah, it's perfect actually. And you have a good movement. I like yeah, made definitely. it a little bit wider, and I um, lowered the armholes here, which mm -hmm. was where why it was like getting so it's tight, tight in there. Before, right. Um, so. This is amazing because the last one I saw was like so cool, but then it had like that, you know, the not muslin. lace sleeves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So this, this is, is so definitely cool. different. Oh my gosh. And you made this a little longer, so now this yeah. touches the floor almost. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Because oh. you had said that you might wear like a heel, so we yeah. like lengthened it. Um, and even with a flat, you know, it's still going to be mm -hmm. like the perfect yeah. length. Should I try a guitar in it? Yeah. I can't see what it looks like. But like <laughs> I assume that it looks. I mean, it feels fine to play, and like it doesn't feel like tight anywhere or anything. Yeah, it feels like the. It feels like the material has some stretch. It does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and you know, I wanted to make sure that you could like you know move. Mm -hmm. Right. Like, yeah. That's <laughs> that's like I said the whole thing of like uh, performance wear for musicians. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's stretchy, like it looks like it's like you know it's lace. The thing I was saying to her, is it looks like kind of like itchy or like some like like uh, dress clothes are always kind of uncomfortable. But it's really comfortable. Like the material is like very stretchy and like you can like <laughs> move around, <laughs> which is like what you know we at Taylor Katarina in New York do. We try to create outfits that really work with performers, um, how you move, how you play. Mm -hmm. um, we want you to be comfortable. We think you know dressing up should be a little bit more in. Enjoyable. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like you shouldn't have to feel like so awkward when you're in your like really nice clothes at these really nice you know events. Yeah. Um, and so that's why we really want you know this is kind of like a it's a duster so it's kind of like a stretch knit so it's actually you know just a, based on a basic t-shirt but then you add some pizzazz to it with the fabric and then with the ruffles and then the extended kind of right. peplum in the back yeah too. just like comfortable and I like the duster because it looks fancy but it's like uh, you can kind of like forget about it which is what I really <laughs> like just like don't have to worry about it while I'm playing or even like walking on or off stage because sometimes when I'm wearing a dress and you're walking on stage you have to worry about you know, making sure you don't trip over it or yeah. anything like that. So it's nice not have to worry about any of that stuff. No, for sure, for sure. Yeah. Um, and yeah, so this piece was actually kind of um, 
it was a customized piece. Um, we built it just for Hannah, um, and we're calling it the Segovia. We are very, very excited. Like she said, it's super comfortable. Um, it's beautiful, like knit, and so we're looking to do that in a black, um, navy, red. Um, if you have a color in particular, because my pieces are made to order, um, you know we don't just have stock on hand. We do it for you. So if there's a color that you're looking for, or something you're looking for, let us know, and we're happy to work with you. Um, to really give you that moment. So yeah, and you know, we had kind of talked about like your performance. So can you tell us a little bit about what's what that is for tomorrow? Yeah, so I'll be playing tomorrow um, at the Mid Hudson Classical Guitar Society, and it's up in Rhinecliff, New York. I think it's I'm in New York City right now. I'm in Brooklyn. It's about a two hour drive. Okay. So. Not so bad. Um, it's been pretty cold here, everyone, just as an yeah. FYI. Um, so we, it's good that you'll have some sleeves to keep you warm. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good point. You don't yeah. want to be cold when you're on stage. Oh my god, that's the worst, that's the right? Worst, that's the worst. It's like when your hands start your to hands, get cold. Yeah, because you got to rely on your hands. I got to help you. <laughs> yeah. And they start like shivering or anything, then you're in trouble. Yeah. We had such a great time like collaborating with you. Yeah. So. Oh man, it's been so much fun. I, like, And you know, we, we go back and forth on the... You're sending me sketches and then you were like out shopping for fabric and sending me pictures of the fabric so it was like super fun to do <laughs> yeah so we had a really good time collaborating yeah um, and you know Hannah was just so sweet the entire time uh -huh. um, no you are very very sweet and you know <laughs> You know, it's great to work with other artists who are so passionate and yeah. you know able to like really like feed off of that vibe. Yeah, and it's it's been fun because like um, I I do spend a lot of time thinking about like you know obviously what I'm gonna wear for like a video or a performance and there's not anything made really for me like specifically for musicians. So I reached out to you, which is has been really awesome because like before just grabbing something off the rack and you have to get it tailored, it's not gonna be long enough, it's gonna be too long, it's gonna be something yeah. not comfortable, it's gonna have sequins on it, something itchy. So it's been like, there should be more people like you. No, oh, thanks, yeah. Um, I mean, I'm, you know, that's kind of where this entire thing came from. I don't know if you guys joined us last week, but essentially um, I started as a costume designer for an opera company and that's how I kind of fell into this. Um, and I just saw, you know, all the, incredible performers and you know how much how you needed something different mm -hmm. and everyone you know in the music scene was kind of shopping at like David's Bridal or like small boutiques or like Macy's Nordstrom you know there are some beautiful dress designers out there and beautiful dresses but they weren't really addressing what your guys's needs were mm -hmm. which was movement fit and being able to perform and so like you were saying with the sequence like you have to be very um, careful with where where and how you place um, any sort of embellishment so mm -hmm. that you don't scratch your instrument um, so for example this one is a glitter but it's a really soft glitter and so it's not actually gonna scratch right um, like her the guitar. sequins that are sewn on that can like exactly really scratch or like the you know bedazzling that mm -hmm. can right. go on the you know yeah. rhinestones mm -hmm. um, so that's important for you know, musicians for singers on the other hand which is you know generally my audience um, we make sure to build in like internal corseting into like some of them so that they can and that stretches too yeah. so they can both breathe and also have something to kind of wow. push up against so there's a lot to yeah. consider when you're creating a garment for mm -hmm. someone um, and especially for someone who has to move yeah. and sit and stand mm -hmm. and dance and sing and 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 dance <laughs> so you know I really like that's where Taylor Katarina New York like really came from